Hey, I hear people talking about relationships ending and them referring to those relationships as failed, right? They failed because the relationship ended. And not only did they fail, or was the relationship a failure, it was also a waste of time. And I don't see it that way at all. I had a conversation with Dr. Dr. Alexander Solomon uh, probably a couple of years ago about her book, Loving Bravely. And when I brought her this question, she said, that's the pain talking. It's sad and heartbreaking and devastating to end a relationship, especially if you're getting broken up with. It's also hard to do the breaking up. We don't talk a lot about the breaker. We talk a lot about the breaky. And that's not what this conversation is about. It's about looking at the end of a relationship, not as a failure, but as a transition. And honoring the sadness, the devastation, the despair, the disappointment of a relationship ending. That shit sucks. It it sucks. It's sad. It's sad when you had hope for a future with someone and it didn't pan out. And it's natural and normal to feel disappointed, to feel hurt, to feel betrayed, to feel uh, like they let you down, like they didn't fulfill their promise to love you forever. Because a lot of a lot of relationships kind of that's the trajectory, right? This is the one. This is the person that I'm going to be with forever, and you know, we say a lot of things in relationships when we're in love. I'll love you forever. I'll always be here for you. I'll never let you down. And we say those with a lot of meaning and intention. And often it doesn't really pan out that way. And so some people choose to see that as a relationship failing, as it being a waste of time. Like all the time that was cultivated in that relationship is gone will never be experienced again, was a waste because the relationship didn't succeed by conventional standards, right? It didn't last the, 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 the test of time. And I don't see it like that at all. And I agree that that's the pain talking, right? It's easier to say, it's easier to get angry and to say, you know, what a waste of time. You know, fuck that. Fuck that person. It's easier to do that than to say, wow, I'm so disappointed. I'm really, really sad that this didn't go on longer than it did. I don't believe in failed relationships. I don't believe in any relationship being a waste of time. I don't believe in any experience in life being a waste of time. Unless you didn't learn anything about yourself along the way. And you had no fun. If you didn't learn anything and you had no fun and it was all bad, maybe it was a waste of time. But relationships are fertile grounds for self-development, for self-awareness, for self-improvement, for knowing what you want, what you like, what works for you so that you can do it differently next time, hopefully better, right? Hopefully your life Every aspect of your life on the long run is trending in an upward trajectory, sort of like the stock market, right? Over 10 year, any, any, any 10 year period, there's often you're going to see a gain in the stock market. Can you look at your life over the long term, not just the short term? You look at the stock market on the short term, there's it wildly swings up and down. You can have a lot of down years. And you can feel pretty bummed about your position in the, in the stock market. Just like you can feel pretty bummed about your position in life, especially after the end of a relationship. You can feel like it was a waste of time. Or you can choose to see it differently. You can choose to see it differently. This is what I learned about myself. This is what I learned about who I like being in relationship with. Here are the great things that we experience together. 
here are the things that weren't that great that ideally in the perfect scenario would be different. This is what I'm walking away with. This is what Rather, this is how you can shift from looking at the end of a relationship as a failure and look at it, at it as, as a learning experience. Every experience, even if it's wildly or mildly disappointing or sad or hurtful, is an opportunity to see it differently, to learn something about yourself, to grow in some important way or even trivial way so that eventually you can be in a relationship that is more aligned. If the relationship ends, there's a lack of alignment somewhere between what you want and what they want. And the goal is never to force alignment. It's to hope and to work towards something that works for both people. And when you find that, that's great. And sometimes those priorities, those goals, those values, the things that you share, they shift. That happens. Sometimes people are really right for each other for a certain period of time. And they learn what they need to learn. And then they let each other go to do it again with somebody else, to do it differently, to do it better, hopefully. Every relationship will change you. Every experience will change you. Every job will change you. For the better or for the worse. But you are constantly evolving as a human. And some of these relationships will evolve with you. And some of them won't. And it's not because you're doing anything wrong or you did something wrong. You can choose to see it that way. Or you can choose to blame the other person as being the problem. They did something wrong. They should have done this when they, when they did this instead. Or you can just see it as a lack of alignment and a beautiful opportunity to learn more about yourself and about your wants and your needs and your desires and your boundaries your expectations, how you show up in a relationship, how you want others to show up for you, whether the, all those are reasonable or not. I think step one is just admitting how disappointingly sad it is when a relationship ends. Or if you're the one ending it, how breathtakingly uh, full of relief it is. It's hard to be in a relationship with someone that is out of alignment. And sometimes you have to end that relationship. You do. And that, that sucks. That's hard. I'm going to do a whole episode on breaking up, being the breaker soon. But this is just about how to see transitions differently. Because that's what it is, right? It's a transition from one type of relationship to another one that is uh, romantic in nature to one that might be platonic in nature or just um, nothing. Nothing in nature. Because sometimes the kindest thing you can do is to just l leave somebody alone and to go your separate ways, hopefully with love and gratitude, admiration, inspiration, faith, that you will find love again. Sometimes a transition to a different kind of relationship is possible after some time, if that's what you both want. Stand by. Sorry, I had to let Roger back in. So if you are in the midst of a relationship transition, regardless of whether you're doing the breaking up or you're the one who was broken up with, can you see this as not a failed relationship, not a waste of time, but an opportunity, a learning experience, a place for you to grow and to explore and to come to terms with. 
your pain, your sadness, your disappointment, your life's path, your current position in life, and how it might not be ideal, and how that's okay. It's most likely temporary. Everything is temporary. The pain is temporary. The elation, the joy is temporary. A lot of relationships are temporary, which is why it's really important to just appreciate them for what they are right now. That's it. This is an invitation for you to look at relationships differently, especially those that ended And to feel the sadness and the pain, not to bypass any of that. Please don't do that. Take the time it takes to grieve. And there is no manual on this. There are no guidelines, right? People say, oh, it's a month for every year that you are in a relationship. It's garbage. Who came up with that? (laughs) Healing is not linear. And it's not standard. It'll take the time it takes. So feel through it, sit through it. Distract yourself when you need to. Come back to it when you're ready. But I don't think it's a failure. I don't think you're a failure. I don't think it was a waste of time. If you can walk away with some new information about you, My name is Sean Galanos, by the way, and this is a short episode of the Love Drive podcast. Have a beautiful week.